Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight is a journalist you know from Showtime's The Circus. She's now hosting Alex Wagner tonight on MSNBC. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Alex Wagner. <laughs> Okay. So nice to see you again. It's so nice to be back again. I always enjoyed talking to you when you were over here with the circus. Mm -hmm. now, now you got your own gig over there on MSNBC. I do. And I'm glad that you're you're my, my first guest here after me being off for a few weeks mm -hmm. for the summer. So you can, you know, lay lay out the parts on the lawn for me. Lay, what, 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 did I miss anything? No, anything? Just, it's been a lot of search warrants and swimsuits. Uh, it's been an exciting. <laughs> Poolside of Mar-a-Lago. You know how it is in August. Mm. Tis the season for special masters. Nothing supposed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too far. Yeah. This just is CBS. Right up, just right up to the this line. This is CBS. Uh, okay, the judge. So let's 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 t talk about this. Yeah. Um, this judge, uh, Eileen, Eileen Cannon, Cannon who, who was who was appointed by the former president and then confirmed after he lost. He lost. Okay. And he did lose. He did lose. <laughs> and ju just happened to be uh, the jurisdiction happens to include Mar-a-Lago, which is fascinating. Yeah. Um, she, she, Coincidence? Yes. She, she granted the request for a special master. She did. Um, what is a special master? Like, what, what's, what's this person supposed to be doing? Well, apart from a very antiquated term, yes. the special master is someone who is an independent arbiter who is, in this case, going to look over potential claims of privilege, which is to say attorney-client privilege or, more controversially, executive privilege. And there are 11... Thousand documents we are talking about here, Stephen, that uh -huh. have been seized uh -huh. uh, since the beginning of August. So are they going to have to go like page by page? I Do you mean... have any idea, or, or they can just go like now these are the <laughs> thing on the front that says super secret, don't <laughs> ever take home. This one has yellow just... that says top secret, don't touch Donald Trump. Exactly. Um, is that no? It's going to take. I mean, in theory, if we go forward, if the Justice Department doesn't appeal this, mm -hmm. this is going to take a long time. I mean, by the way, because first you have to decide on who the special master or special mistress is, and mm -hmm. you can imagine that there is a lot of sunlight between um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the DOJ and the Trump legal team on this, right? I well, mean, they have to come to a mutually agreed upon yes, person? Yes, So the So the, his lawyers yes. have to agree with yeah. the DOJ's yeah. lawyers about what constitute yes. as a neutral arbiter? Yes, in theory, this I mean, never you could have, happen. like, we want Rudy Giuliani. Well, we'd like Barack Obama. I mean, like, it's impossible. <laughs> To imagine a scenario where there, and then that person also, by the way, has to happen to, ha, has to happen to have top secret classified security clearance. Because that's the craziest part of this, which yes. I just love, is that so he <laughs> keeps saying it's all unclassified, it's all unclassified. Yes. I declassified everything. Abracadabra. Abra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Omni Domini, you know, it's uh, every every yes. all the free. Yeah, yeah. All the things. It's all declassified. Yes. But when his lawyers applied for the special master, they yes, said, it. now the special master has to be someone of a high security clearance because <laughs> yes. this is all classified and admitting material. admitting that none of it's classified. In right. fact, part of the reason that the classification, the declassification process is so rigorous is because Trump, when he was president, would tweet out declassified Classification, like abracadabra, I have declassified these documents via mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. And basically, behind the scenes, the DOJ had to work to ensure that you couldn't actually declassify things by Twitter, because then the press was like, oh, if it's declassified, we want it too. And so the, 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 the sort of system by which things were declassified was really tightened under Trump because of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And now here we have the harvest of Donald Trump's insanity right back on his own plate. Oh, so, okay, so... Um, yes. It's a lot. So it, I know, your, there's, there's, so, there's, so, there's question, so much this, to this drink in. This could take in. a long time. This could take a very long time. Okay. Because if the special master, if they somehow find the wizard who has the top secret clearance that both parties agree to, that person then has to review 11,000 documents, right? We are mm. headed in toward to the midterm elections, which yeah, yeah. are in November. All this investigating is supposed to happen outside of the political calendar. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, we're talking about 11,000 documents that could not, both sides could not agree that, that, that some of those documents are privileged. But doesn't the, the special master get to this decide? Is the, but you can appeal the special master's decision. So it's a great clock gobbler, oh, as, we, sure, as we call it. Oh, it could take years. I mean, like, it could gobble years. I mean, depending on what the special master does. There are, okay. So far, the DOJ has set aside 500 documents that they say are privileged. The special okay. master has 11,000 to choose from. Now, wow. if this person is particularly aggressive or not aggressive enough, mm -hmm. either Trump or the DOJ could appeal it. I mean, 
My sense is the DOJ would like to wrap this up quickly, but you know sure. Donald Trump loves nothing more than a delay. Well, there's there's also the it has been um, the idea has been put out there that the DOJ should really, based on this evidence, mm -hmm. and they're not allowed to do anything based on this evidence, the judge says, based on this evidence, they should go look at Bedminster. They should look at his kids' homes. They should look at Trump Tower, because why would it just be a Mar-a-Lago? He's got this stuff stashed everywhere, and that makes a lot of sense to me. So the clock gobbling yes. is an important part of this, because it gives him a chance allegedly <laughs> to destroy yeah. the rest of the evidence, it is doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, listen, um, this is someone who had... 48 empty folders that were marked classified, I right? Know. And that's just at Trump Tower. I don't, I'm sorry, that's just at Mar-a-Lago. I don't know that he knows where everything is. This stuff was mixed in with his passports and an old shoe and a raincoat and a razor blade. I'm not even making that up. That's literally stuff that was in the boxes that he gave back to the Department of Justice. Why would a former president have three passports? <laughs> he had three passports. I mean... At this stage, I want three passports, because who knows how this all sure. turns out, New you know? <laughs> New Zealand seems right? really nice. Totally. Canada's great in the summer. We have to take a quick break, but please stick around. We'll be right back with more of MSNBC's Alex Wagner, everybody. <laughs>